Logos. I made a video on them a few months ago. Sports logos are important to every team. The logo symbolizes the brand and identity of a team. Players don logos on uniforms and gear. Fans, myself included, buy just about anything and everything decked out in their team's logo. Despite this, not all logos in the National Hockey League are created equal. So what better way than to rank NHL logos, which is what I'm going to do today. Play the intro. <laughs> I rank the logos on five things, the design, any creativity, historical relevance, if it's possible, drawability, and if they replaced a logo, is it better? Let's begin. At number 32 is the Los Angeles Kings. The Kings had a great logo. It was simple, it was just the crown, and the color scheme was perfect. Purple, black, and silver. You couldn't lose! Until 2011. The Kings replaced that, or more, took the crown, got rid of the purple, and slapped it on what I'm going to guess is a banner or home plate with the initials LA, because we need to rem be reminded where the Kings play. I Thanks, Kings. We all forgot you're from LA. Either way, this is the worst logo in the NHL. They need to bring back the old design. At number 31 is the Dallas Stars. Just like the Kings, the Stars had a better logo back in the day, and it was the logo that the Stars wore when they won the cup in 1999. you think that logo would have stayed, but not when new owner Tom Caglardi bought the team in 2013. He pushed for a new rebrand, and the result was this. A D smashed in with a star. I mean, oh, I get it. The D because it's Dallas and the big D. Yeah, thanks. Like, we all forgot you're from Dallas. Either way... I don't like this logo, and it's pretty hard to draw as well, at least from my experience. That's why it's ranked this low. At number 30 is the Chicago Blackhawks. I don't hate this logo because it's potentially offensive to native tribes. I hate this logo as a Blues fan. Seeing this logo a lot when I was young, I grew up to hate this logo. And that's as a Blues fan, not because it might be offensive. I mean, you decide if it is offensive or not. I'm not going to debate about that. It's a topic for another day but getting back to the point i don't like this logo because every time i see a logo ranking it is super high which as a blues fan that just annoys me anyway that's why it's 30 if it wasn't for the kings and stars this could be 32 moving on at number 29 is the florida panthers remember the jumping cat logo the panthers had yeah that was a great design it was amazing it was it had a it was a great symbol you saw a jumping cat with with the mouth open, with the claws. You couldn't lose. That was a perfect design. So please explain why the Panthers replaced it with this. Were they trying to go with the Captain America shield? From what I saw, the Panthers replaced it because of the military and an impact with the Army Ranger. Because their owner, Vinny Viola, is an Army Ranger. Or technically was... Either way, bad logo, bring back the jumping cat. At number 28 is the Anaheim Ducks. Oh, some of you are going to say, oh, but it's a D and a web foot. It's creative. No, it's not. Especially when it replaced the original Mighty Ducks logo, which was awesome. That infuriates me. That infuriates a lot of hockey fans. I just hope that when Fanatics takes over, they make that Mighty Ducks orange jersey. That becomes the main logo and this becomes retired for good. What a voice cracked. Moving on. At number 27 is the Washington Capitals. Yeah, it's a word mark and it breaks my rule about word marks as the logo. But when you think about it, this is the Alex Ovechkin era logo for the Capitals. Yeah, the Weagle is a lot better. Yeah, Ovi started with the Screaming Eagle when he first started. But this logo is going to be connected to Capitals fans when you think about it. This is the logo they would think about when they think of the Alex Ovechkin era when they won the cup in 2018, that's going to be symbolic for them. But we're not here to talk about sentimentality. This logo is terrible. Make the Weagle the main logo. At number 26 is the Philadelphia Flyers. When you look at hockey logos that have never changed, 
the flyer is the one you should look at. I mean, I don't know what to say. There's nothing here that screams, wow, this is a really good logo. Maybe it's just me, but the P with the wings? I don't know. I feel like the Flyers really need... If there's any team in the league that needs to just take a nuke to their brand and just start over, it's the Flyers. There's nothing here that wows me. And that's why the Flyers are this low. At number 25 is the Winnipeg Jets. First off, they stole the Thrashers, which wasn't cool. And second, this is a logo that has been in the league for probably too long, and it's kind of time for a change. You know that WHA throwback they have that they wear sometimes? That's a cool design. I would like to see that become the main design. This Compass logo, first off, it's kind of hard to draw also, just like the stars, so that's going to deduct some points. But yeah, this is a logo that has probably been here for a bit too long, and it's time to retire it. At number 24 is the Carolina Hurricanes. If you want a team in the league that is going through an identity crisis, look at the Hurricanes. This is supposed to be their main logo, yet their main home jersey is the black jersey with the flags, and their road jersey is white with the word Canes across it. They can't just pick one logo and stick with it. That just infuriates me, especially as someone who makes matchup graphics with logos. The Hurricanes drive me nuts. Speaking of the flags, that's a better logo. They should make that one the main instead of this vortex weird oval shaped O. Either way, make the flag logo the main hurricanes. You know what to do. And number 23 is the Montreal Canadiens. If you're not a hockey fan, this just looks like a horseshoe with the H shoehorned in it. But to any traditional hockey fans, this is an iconic logo. I understand that, but there's just nothing that's wowing me on this. But this will never change because the Canadians are a traditional team, and if you notice with traditional teams, their logos will never change. So this logo is never changing. But I think it's boring, and that's why I ranked it this low. At number 22 is the Columbus Blue Jackets. Again, with the drawability, this logo is a little tricky to draw, at least for me. But in terms of the main design, I can see where they're going. They got a star, they got the Ohio flag wrapped around it. That's cool, I guess, but they had better logos. The Stinger logo was cool, the old CBJ with the neon stick, or even the Canon logo that they have. The Canon alternate jersey, I'd like to see that become the main logo. Once again, yes, it has a word mark, but it's better than the current design. If you make it the Canon logo, the Blue Jackets would go a lot higher in this ranking. And number 21 is the Toronto Maple Leafs. Just like the Canadiens, this is a traditional logo that will never change. Actually, funny when you think about it, the Maple Leafs have had some logos that have been tweaked but never really changed. The design has really been the same. A blue and a white leaf with the word Toronto Maple Leafs on it. That idea will never change. But I just ranked it this low because, once again, traditional. And for some reason, this is a little hard to draw as well. Which might shock you. But yeah... I mean, I like Toronto, I want to visit it one day, but this logo is just not cutting it for me. And number 20 is the New York Rangers. Once again, another original 16 with a traditional logo. This logo, once again, not wowing me, a little hard to draw, and once again, the word mark rule, but once again, you get the drill by now, this will not change. It might be tweaked, it might be a color change, but the concept will stay the same. At number 19 is the Detroit Red Wings. As a Blues fan, I really, I often forget that the Blues and Red Wings used to be rivals at one point. I was pretty young when they switched the divisions and the Red Wings moved to the East, so I never really got to experience the Blues-Red Wings rivalry. But with this logo, I mean, I get the history, the winged wheel and whatever, but it's just not cutting it to me, and if there's a logo that I think is really hard to draw, it's this for some reason. I don't know why. I get the history, but... This is just not really cutting it to me. It's kind of mid, I guess. That's a correct way to use it. At number 18 is the Ottawa Senators. I mean, I'm glad it's, it replaced the older logo, the more meh looking Senator. But it's just not that wowing. I mean, when you think Senators, what makes you think Roman Gladiator? I mean, I get it. You couldn't put like some Canadian dude in a suit with a stick and make that the logo. I mean, that looked kind of cool, but... Now, the Roman Gladiator has been the Senator's symbol since they were founded, or 
technically since the second version was founded in the, the early 90s, but I just don't see it with this logo. Sorry, Sens fans, but I mean, at least it's better. At least Melanick isn't the owner anymore. Eh? At number 17 is the Tampa Bay Lightning. If you weren't a hockey fan, you would think this kind of looks like the Flash, but two-tone in blue and white. To me, this is pretty boring. I mean, it's kind of easy to draw, but it's also pretty boring when you think about it. Yeah, the Lightning have won back-to-back -back cups with this logo, but I'm just not seeing it. They had two cooler logos back in the day, but once again, when new ownership bought the team, a rebrand was instated. And I don't like it. I wish they would bring back black as the main design and make a cooler logo, but that's just me. Maybe there are Lightning fans that disagree, or even hockey fans in general. At number 16 is the Boston Bruins. They would be lower if they had the older logo as the design, or more of by older, more of the design they've been wearing for a while with the black B. But with this logo for their centennial anniversary is awesome. I like this design. I wish the Bruins would just make this their their main logo full time instead of just for this year. Because this is decent. It's solid. It's like with that historical relevance thing, it combines their history with the current design. They took a lot of at least some logos from their past and combined it into one logo and I like that so why does this have to be a one year thing make this the main design Bruins at number 15 is the New York Islanders once again another traditional logo it's not an original six team but it's a traditional logo now for those of you who don't know if you look with the eye in Islanders that is pointing directly at where the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum was or the old arena of the Islanders now they play at UBS in Belmont, where I'm not exactly a geography expert, which I don't know where it's located, but I do like that design. Plus the NY where it's combined, the NY is combined and a hockey stick is added. I think that's cool too. Yes, it has a word mark, but if you can make it work, it looks good. At number 14 is the Nashville Predators. Yeah, I hate this team, but they do have a cool logo. Nothing says cool like a tiger. The team is based off of a skeleton of a tiger, or a saber-toothed tiger, found in 1971, and that's just a cool logo. I mean, I like the older robot-looking version from the 90s and 2000s, but this is still a cool design. And I'm also glad they made yellow the main jersey color, because when you look at it, there's not really any teams that have yellow as their main jersey. So, good job, Predators. At number 13 is the Colorado Avalanche. I hate this team, I hate that they stole the Quebec Nordiques, but this is a solid logo. You've got the A, shaped as a mountain, for avalanche, duh, and you've got a puck going down the mountain, like an avalanche. That's a simple design. The color scheme is a, lot, a bit more different compared to other teams, That would, and that's what separates them from other teams. They use burgundy instead of basic red, and that's good on the avalanche, but I still hate them. At number 12 is the Minnesota Wild. You're probably thinking, what is this thing? Is it a bear? Is it wilderness? It's both. It's shaped like a bear, but it has wilderness. The wild. It has trees. I th believe that's a tent. There's a trail. There's the moon or the sun. And there's a North Star. A reference to the old hockey team that used to play in Minnesota. This is a complicated, kind of hard to draw logo, but a good design. At number 11 is the Buffalo Sabres. I am so glad they went to Royal, or else this logo would be lower, or technically the Navy logo would be a lot lower. But this is a good design, it's clean, it's simple. You've got the Buffalo for Buffalo, you've got two Sabres. By the way, the word, or the team name Sabres is actually spelled differently. It's R-E instead of E-R, which is different. But yeah, this logo is it's cool, it's clean, it's simple. Uh, the Sabres aren't the best run organization, but at least they have a good logo. At number 10 is the Edmonton Oilers. This logo is simple. It's the same one that they've had for a while. There might have been some color changes here and there, but the Oilers have had this logo for a really, really long time. This will not be changing. It's a good thing, because this logo is simple, basic, but to the point, and I like that with this logo. At number 9 is the New Jersey Devils. Yeah, I don't like that the scouts turned into this, 
But I must say, the Devil's logo is awesome when you look at it. You got the NJ for Devils. You've got Devil Horns and a tail. If that's not awesome, I don't know what is. But the fact that they took letters, combined it, plus add Devil Elements, I think that's cool. I like this with the Devil's logo. At number 8 is the Vancouver Canucks. I'm torn on this. I mean, yeah, the skate logo is awesome. A lot of people want it brought back. I want it brought back. But the Orca logo isn't too bad. When you think about it, it's shaped like a C for Canucks. It has a killer whale bursting out of it. Which, pardon me when you think about it, it's actually kind of cool. Because it's shaped like ice for hockey. Or at least there's ice formed in a C. I just think it's cool. I know a lot of people might not like it. I think it's dumb because... A Canuck isn't a whale, for those of you who did not know. A Canuck is another word for Canadian, so your basic Canadian, that's what a Canuck is. But I don't think the Orca isn't too bad, but if the skate logo was on here, this logo, would, or the Canucks, would be a lot higher on this ranking. At number 7 is the San Jose Sharks. Once again, another cool logo, but I would like the older version more. The Black Shark that they had in the early days. I thought the Black Shark was cooler than this one, even though... This one is modernized and all that, but I just think the black shark is better, but both of them are good. A shark breaking out of a triangle, biting a hockey stick, that's a cool logo. At number six is the Vegas Golden Knights. I hate the Golden Knights. I hate that they won the cup this early in their existence. Yes, I'm salty, but I must say they at least have a really good logo. That simple knight helmet, shaped like a, with a V for Vegas... I think that's simple. It's simple, but it works in their favor. At number 5 is the Pittsburgh Penguins. First off, no, I'm not a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. For any of you who thought I was a Pittsburgh Penguins fan, I'm not. I don't know why people get that confused. But, as a person who loves Penguins, I'm going to love this logo. I've honestly been rooting for... I would sometimes had rooted for the Pens back in the day when they were in the Cup Final... At least in 2016 and 17, I would root for them because the team they'd play had eliminated the Blues, so I grew up to like this logo. The design is simple. You've got a skating penguin in a triangle with the simple black and gold for Pittsburgh. I like that with this logo. At number four is the St. Louis Blues. You probably all thought I would make this number one since I'm a Blues fan, but I think the logo is good at number four. The Blues have had this design for more than 20 years when you look at it. The design is good, but I think it could be a bit better. When you look at Blue's logos, they've been different, yet similar at the same time. The concept has been the same thing. A 64th note. That hasn't changed. There's been different colors, there's been extra colors added, but it's remained the same. To me, if the Blue's made the Winter Classic logo the main logo, then it could be maybe second or third. But I personally think that the current logo is good at number 4. But I do think the Winter Classic jersey should become the main design. At least the logos, or the jerseys, from the 1960s. I think those should become the main design. At number 3 is the Arizona Coyotes. When you think about the Coyotes and their current situation with the arena and, and all of us wanting them to move... We all don't th we don't, don't put this in mind that if the Coyotes move, there's a good chance this design is gone. Because if they move to Houston, or Kansas City, or wherever, they're, they're probably not going to be the Coyotes anymore. They're probably going to get a new name. When you think about it, the Kachina design, the one that we all love, it's going to be gone. So, in a way, we kind of have to appreciate this while we can if the Coyotes do move. Yeah, I want them in Kansas City, I want to bring back the Scouts, but the Kachina design is awesome. It's hard to believe that we all hated this, or at least most of you hated that back in the day. I wasn't born back then. But this is a pretty, a really cool logo. It's awesome. It's definitely one of the more unique yet awesome designs in the NHL and in sports. At number two is the Seattle Kraken. I didn't think about it when this was revealed back in, what was it, 2020? But I would rank this. I honestly think this is a really cool logo. And I, I know I've been saying that a lot. This is a cool logo. But it actually is. You've got an S for Seattle, which is actually critical and important. And pretty unique to their history, once again, historical relevance, with S in Seattle. Plus, you've got a tentacle hidden in there, and a red eye, which is awesome when you put that. Plus, there's no actual outline, so when you look at it, it's like it's hidden in the shadows. That's cool. 
and this is why the Kraken is number two. And finally, at number one is the Calgary Flames. I know what you're thinking, oh, but it's a flaming sea, what's so cool about it? I think because the Flames made their old design, where it was the white flame on the red jersey, I like it. It's clean, it's simple, and it respects their history, and I like that. you got a flaming sea, and that's all you need for a team called the Flames, even though they're in Calgary, which isn't exactly known for hot weather or heat, but the logo's awesome. It's cool. It's simple. It's Calgary. And it's the best logo in the NHL, in my opinion. And that's it for NHL logo rankings. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Be sure to tell me why I'm wrong with my rankings in the comments down below. I will certainly do a ranking of MLB, MLS, NBA, and NFL logos in the future. Be sure to follow me on social media. All the links are in the description down below. I'll see you in the next video.